and I'm filming today on my older camera. Still have not got the new camera situation fixed. I just posted a super long Snapchat story whining and crying about it. So if you want to know what's up with that, head over there. Also, in my last vlog, I told you guys I was going to be starting a Depop, and I failed to mention or link anywhere my Depop shop. So, it is going to be under the same name as my Snapchat, and that is just BM885. There's nothing listed there yet, but that is where it will be creeping up. So today, I'm going to start a new video series if you guys like it. I feel like I'm continually bringing in new video series lately, but it's fun to do new things, try new things. So like this video if you end up liking it, and then I'll know to kind of keep it going. I'm filming with like the door open today because I have so many boxes. You will see why. I was telling you guys that I wanted to start a new series called The Weekly Roundup, and I thought that that would be a way to just kind of show you guys like stuff or talk about stuff that I'm doing weekly that I like weekly different makeup that I both get sent like PR wise and that I order I feel like I'm always getting so many interesting things and so many interesting products and I'm always trying to show them to you guys in like a first impression Friday or something like that but I feel like if I just get like one or two new lipstick shades they might be fun to just show or swatch or try in in a series that's more like this instead of devoting a whole video to swatching one lipstick. You know what I mean? Let's just get started. Some new cases of things to unbox. I ended up getting a whole case of the Edward Scissorhands ones. We opened I think six of these. I think it's been two or three weeks ago now. This actually did come from the company. They sent me a whole case of them. So the quest for Vincent Price continues and I don't know if I should open these in a video or not because I know we kind of already did them. Maybe you guys are sick of them. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. And I also got some new ones, a whole case from Titans and I'm definitely going to open these on a video. I am so excited for them. They are the X-Files, the truth is out there collection. And of course I want Mulder and Scully, but I also want, they have the freaking fluke worm. That is a possibility. I am so stoked. But I'm thinking about saving opening this case for Vlogoween because I'm going to try to do a video every single day. I'm going to try and have a lot of spookiness. I know you guys are waiting for me to do Halloween related videos, but I'm really thinking about saving all of those for October because I feel like if I start doing it in September, if I do two months of Halloween, listen, I would do 12 months of Halloween, but I don't know. I don't know who all would be down for that. Last mystery unboxing case of toys that I got this week is series two of Num Noms. Do you guys remember those? I made a video about series one either late last year or early this year, but they come in these cute, they look like frozen yogurt or ice cream containers. They are a lot of fun and I don't know, hopefully you guys will want to see these as well. I asked you guys in the last unboxing video if you like it better when I do an entire case or just like six or 12 at a time and everyone said case. So I think from now on when I do mystery unboxings, I'm going to be doing the entire case in one video. Whole mess of fashion, clothing, shoes, and makeup related items. That's going to be the rest of this haul. I feel like this is sort of a haul, you know, like a haul by any other name would smell as sweet. I managed to get some new or the some of the newest Kylie Cosmetics products. Two of these I ordered and then one of them just arrived to me in the mail again. It was like a surprise. The item that just mysteriously showed up at my house is finally the Kylie Kai Shadow palette and this is the bronze palette. I think she either has already or is about to debut a new palette, not the bronze palette. So we're just going to take a quick glance, maybe swatch a couple of these shadows. So this is what the palette looks like. It's white and there's a lot of drippy 
tears going on and I'm gonna let you guys see it before I see it. Ooh, look at those colors. I'm very excited to have this because these are definitely colors that I will wear. What can we call this? Like earth tones, I guess you could say. So there is four of the colors swatched. That is three of the matte shades and one shimmer. And they feel pretty creamy and pretty nice. I like them. They're buttery. You guys feel free to let me know in the comments if y'all would like a deeper look at any of these products, more in-depth swatching, a tutorial with it. This is like a Swamp Family brainstorming session. And then the other two products that I actually ordered are the two Kylie Kyle Liner eyeliner and gel liner kits. So I got both of the shades and one is black and one is brown. I was actually surprised that it was like two natural colors. You know, I kind of thought that it would be metallics or coppers or something like that. I'm dying to get the new lips, the new lip kits. I really want brown sugar. So bad. So in each of these kits, this is what you get. You get three items. The first one is a gel pot liner. So this is the black one. Ta-da! You also get a liner brush, which is just a pretty standard, nice little angle brush here. And uh, you also get a eyeliner pencil and it has the Kylie logo on it. And I'll go ahead. Oh wow, that does feel very soft and buttery. I am always in need of eyeliner pencils, so I think that that's why I was just like, I need them both. A really cute PR package I got this week from Tarte is the new Nicole Consillo. I hope I'm saying her last name right. Please, please let me say something right. She did a collaboration with Tarte herself to do a brush set that's limited edition. And I just thought it was so cute that the PR package came in a pizza box. And then inside, oh my gosh, look, isn't that so adorable? So that is her picture laying on pizza, who does not love pizza? And then all of the brushes are temporarily stuck down here in this pizza sort of format. So this one is grabbing my eye. So this is a face framer powder brush. Ooh, this is a really, okay, the Smooth Moves blending brush. So I'm just gonna touch both of these and then I'm gonna have to wash them because I'm touching them with my filthy hands. I think that this one is probably going to be my favorite from the collection. I love powder brushes that are like this, that are so smooth and fluffy, and I love to use them kind of like as all purpose, and like who does not need another nice fluffy blending brush? I posted this on Snapchat already, but I am so excited for these. It is the new MAC Lipstick Lip Tensity Collection. They sent me the whole freaking thing. I feel very, very lucky, very fortunate. I know my girl Candy got this as well and she was doing some swatches and the colors look shrimply marvelous. So it is sort of a whole pinwheel of color here. I think that there is 24 shades. I don't think that these have hit stores yet. I could be wrong. This particular shade is calling my name and this is Driftwood. Sounds like Deadwood. So I really like the packaging. It almost feels like a lightweight metal of some sort. This is Driftwood and it is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Next, I'm gonna swatch this really interesting purpley gray one. This is called Galaxy Gray. But doesn't it look sort of purple? The tube looks kind of purple. Ooh, I really like this. It is sort of like a purpley gray, very unique. I definitely don't have anything else like this in my collection. Definitely looks very grungy, very fall. I'm gonna try this vibrant magenta shade, which is called Ambrosial. Wow. 
This one is so vibrant and beautiful. That is awesome. One of the other recent things that I got from MAC, I think that I actually got this about two weeks ago. I think that this has actually been in stores for a little while now. This is the new MAC Ariana, Ariana, I wanna, I always say her name wrong and everyone punches me in the face. Ariana, right? Grande, yes. I'm sorry. She had a second collection for Viva Glam. So this is Ariana Grande 2. And I really loved her first collection. This is what it looks like. A very beautiful magenta shade. And I did actually apply this to my lips once already. So that's why it looks a little used on the top. It looks sort of like the matte version of that new Lip Tensity lipstick. No, that's a little bit more pink. This is a little bit more purple. I can definitely see myself wearing this shade a lot. It's gorgeous. It also, of course, came with a new uh, Viva Glam lip glass. And I wish I loved lip glosses more than I do, but this is the shade of it and it is just called Viva Glam 2. I'm gonna do a little swatch. I feel like I'm in Sephora right now, just using like every square inch of my body as a place to swatch some product on. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, it has almost like a muted plum color. I do think it would look very gorgeous layered on top of that product. Right? Right there. The next thing that I got is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Anastasia. I don't know why I'm saying everything in a comical voice today, but I got the new stick foundations and I got sent all of the fair shades. So that is about, what is that? Six shades in there. And I am so ready to try these. I know stick foundations is like the new thing and I don't think I've ever tried a stick foundation before, but I'm very ready to try these. So this is what they look like. A nice, heavy, luxurious feeling product here. The packaging is very heavy, not so heavy that it's like a burden, but you feel like you're getting product. You know what I mean? So this is what it looks like. That is like a million miles away. I twisted quite a bit of it out. This is the shade Alabaster, and this might be a cool tone. I think I finally decided that I have pink undertones. So I'm not sure, you know, some of these, yeah, this would definitely be an amazing like highlighting foundation for me. I know that sounds crazy, but sometimes I will use two and three foundations. I'll use a darker shade as a contour. If I want a really natural look, I'll use a shade that matches my face all over and then I'll use a very light shade to do the highlighting. I feel like this is definitely a flawless sort of foundation. So I'm gonna skip two shades down and I'm gonna do a quick swatch of porcelain. I'm gonna try and just swatch it on the top of my arm. I started actually like shaving the tops of my arms so I would have more swatching room. That is how obsessed I am. I feel like when I blend this one out, it's still a little maybe on the light side for me, but wow, when you just blend it out, it almost, it's got like a silky texture to it. I'm very excited to rub these all over my face. The last one I'm gonna swatch is Ivory. This is once again like skipping one shade, so it's kind of like two shades down. I swatched that in a really, really obtuse spot. That one might be the winner. What do you guys think? I'm definitely gonna have to play with it and swatch it on my face, you know, apply it for realsies, but that's looking pretty fabulous. I got a new package from It Cosmetics and I just stuck my hand in all of those slightly moist lipstick swatches. Amazing. New box of stuff from It Cosmetics and they are actually going to be carried in Sephora now. So not just Ulta anymore. And I believe that these are all of their new products that they are going to be launching in Sephora. A lot of skincare stuff, which you guys know I am obsessed with. And a new brush. 
This is called Heavenly Skin CC Skin Perfecting Brush. I haven't even opened it out of the tube and it has white bristles. So honestly, I'm a little bit scared to right now because I'm covered in glippity glop. Also, this product, which you guys will see whenever I am able to get my high school makeup video up. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. Where is it? It's buried under a mountain of other stuff. I have really been testing this out all week. It is called a Je Ne Sais Quoi and it is a hydrating color awakening lip treatment. It is amazing. I have been wearing it every day. I feel like my lips don't look as disgusting or chapped, right? Ooh, yes. Don't they look better? It sort of looks like it is one of those mood changing lipsticks that adapts and wears slightly different on everyone's skin. You can see it had the IT logo stamped into the top and there's a little bit of like pink tone to it. You know, normally it just kind of looks like this sort of clear pink color, but it's a little bit darker on the top where my lips have been rubbing on it. It looks like we also have a three-in-one makeup melting cleansing balm, a new Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. A ton of new stuff is coming out from Urban Decay. I'm very excited for it all. So they wrote my name on this box and they sent me the new or the newest Naked, I almost said Maked palette. So this is called Urban Decay Naked Basics. Right now it's attached to this piece of clear plastic. Ooh, sound effects. I think that would be honestly one of the most amazing jobs to have in Hollywood. If you're just kind of like the person that steps on lettuce all day and you're like, oh, it makes crunching noises. Doesn't that sound like a fun job? Look at this packaging. It's sort of rose gold, very textured. I like it. 12 shades and a makeup brush. And ooh, I really love this color called Extra Bitter. And I love these sort of grayish purple ones up here. They are all matte shades. I'm excited. And then in the rest of this box is just the other naked palettes one, two, three, and smoky. And I'm so excited to have these fresh in my collection because my old ones, they've been through some things. I finally got a set of the Artis brushes. I have been wanting these for so long, for so long. Everybody, everybody in the world uses these brushes. They are like top of the line. So they look almost like a black charcoal finish. It just, it looks very luxe. Just look at that. This is the largest brush in the set. I believe that this is the Oval 10 brush and I feel so guilty for petting this right now, but it feels luxurious. You guys are definitely gonna see these in some future makeup videos. I'm so excited to have this little brush down here. This is the brush that I see everybody using on Instagram to apply those like lip paint products. I've been wanting to try some of those, but I haven't been able to really find any yet. Maybe, maybe one day. That should be my new research project. A fashion thing that I got. I hope I don't have makeup all over my hands. I don't want to touch this. I feel, I'm so excited to have this. I really want to do at least Harley Quinn once for Halloween this year. I know everybody's going to do it. For once in my life, I like the same thing at the same time that everybody else does. It is such a rare occurrence, but Black Milk Clothing, you know I have been obsessed with these guys for a million years. They came out with a Suicide Squad collection and they came out with extremely realistic Harley Quinn costume cosplaying pieces. I needed the shorts. So I got these little Harlequin shorts. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I posted a little janky picture of this on Snapchat. Maybe you've already seen this. And I also got the jacket, which I'm going to put on for you guys now. But it is fully embroidered in the back. It is shiny. It is magical. I'm ready for it. I thought that this was going to be a little bit big on me. It is a small, but... It's not really. I feel like it has a good fit to it. You guys cannot really tell because I am so freaking close to the camera. But there we go. There we go. 
Yay! Oh, yay! Can you guys see it? I hope you can. Yes? Can you see it? I'm excited. And then uh, the last thing that I have time to show you guys this week is a new pair of shoes that I got from a regular choice. I got these with fall in mind and because they look so amazingly Victorian. So I know that they are a regular choice. They came from a regular choice, but they came in a box that says poetic license on it. So beautiful, so adorable. I did a little segment walking around in them for you guys. They are beautiful lace up Victorian boots. They actually have zippers on the side, so they're very easy and fast to put on and take off, but they have this beautiful floral printed corduroy fabric, just a little bit of shine to the fabric on the toe and the heel, this beautiful sateen sort of lacing, and I am obsessed with them. They look gorgeous. They are going to be amazing for the fall, and you guys know I am obsessed with all things Victorian looking. So I'm sorry this video has been so super long. I hope I can trim it down a lot in editing. Let me know once again if you guys like this. If you don't, I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to be annoying. I'm just trying to share with you guys these different products that I get. I love to share things with you guys. I love to swatch things for you guys. If you guys like this, I will continue to do these. Just let me know. The world is your oyster, so it is up to you guys. But if y'all like it, I do have a cute intro planned that I want to film, that I want to do. I just need to learn things. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!